Half a day and happy holidays. I'm Tanya from Pokemon Leola with Joint Media and Mariana's Public Affairs. And this is Island Images. Yes, we are back. And we're going to start off this new season on a high note. So right now we're going to check out a really, really cool family holiday tradition. So let's go and see what it's all about. With us is John J.Q. Kanata, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the exhibit. Half a day, J.Q. Half a day, Tanya, and thank you, JRM, or uh, the uh, Joint News Network, for uh, having us on uh, uh, this today. Oh, thank you very much for, uh, for inviting us down, you know, allowing us to interview you guys. You talked to me a little bit about the exhibit. First of all, what is, what is the theme of the exhibit? The theme for this year is uh, Christmas in Haganya. Every year we try to change the theme up. And uh, this year, you know, we're going through all kinds of, um, of uh, different scenarios and different themes and stuff. And since we're bringing it down from the Friary in Agania Heights or in Sinahanya, uh, we're, we decided to um, make it Christmas in Agania because it's going to be at the Agania Shopping Center. So we've been doing this since 1992 and my brothers and sisters and my in-laws uh, that come together. It's a combination of all of us making this a successful uh, village. That's what this project started out is. It's just a, a, a family. Let's let's put a beautiful display together. And every year it just got bigger and better. And busloads used to come and visit the train city. At the house. At the house. And the house was in Ipan Telefofo? In Ipan Telefofo. And then Father Eric had this great idea. Father Eric from the Friary. From the Friary, Father Eric Forbes. He asked the Munias, he asked the Kanatas, he asked the Doors, he asked every family member. I told him, I said, Father Eric, you have to go to my mother-in-law. Once that lady says yes, you got all of us. Mm -hmm. And then that was when we unveiled it, 2007, for the Friary at the Friary. But this year, the reason why we're doing it here is because they actually are blessed to get more students, local boys, at the Friary to become either brothers or a priest and they're studying so they had to build rooms downstairs and classrooms again a shopping center said why don't we do it here we had a little um, uh, delay we had a shutdown for two years my mother-in-law uh, got sick and um, she passed away in 2000 uh, uh, 14. Oh, condolences. Uh, thank you. And so this year we're back uh, on a smaller scale, but I still feel we give, we gave it enough uh, quality and passion from each of us. There's a piece of every family that worked here, from the Villa Gomez's to the Kanatas to the Doyles to the Munez. As we started uh, joining with the Kanata family to complement some of our stuff, um, there were larger areas, common areas that we needed to, to fill the space. And each year they have a different theme, and so we will just look at our collection and bring things down to complement that and present the theme. So this is the Villa Gomez uh, family collection, right? Or some of it? Some, some of it, yes. Mm -hmm. The larger pieces. You have a nativity set here. Uh, this uh, was purchased, it was a gift to my mom in 2009. Okay. Um, specifically is? to for the Friary. The blessing of working with the Kanata family is they've done grand village displays. And I thought, how yeah. did they do that? And it was through learning them, that, uh, being with them, that they learn how to do certain specialties and that was their defined specialty. My dad is responsible for all electrical uh, uh, hookups in this village. Uh, if you were to go and look at the uh, panel, we can turn off the, the sections by sections and turn it on, turn it on and off. Uh, section by section. So, uh, my brother-in-law Mike Doyle, he's involved with all the logistics of putting together the stage. My sister uh, Terry does all the layouts with Pam, uh, my sister-in-law Pam, and also my wife Donna. I make sure all the animated stuff, the technical stuff, things that move, uh, special effects, uh, is what my expertise is in this village. Yeah, it takes about four months to uh, build this, or two months to build, and then two months, to, of course, to display it, and then, then uh, to, to take it down. If it wasn't for the volunteers, we won't be where we're at today. If it wasn't for their help, we wouldn't be able to do physical work here, and, and it really helps us get this done. And of course, our major sponsors, because this is, takes a lot of resources. Merry Christmas!
The show's going to run um, the weekend after Thanksgiving all the way up to January 10th. So I think we've got like 44 days of actual showing this display. And this is going to be from 6 to 9? From 6 o'clock in the evening till 9 p.m. We're trying to follow the mall hours. Just come in here for a little more, you know, just for a while to become a kid again. For one evening, just being off. When you come here and you don't have the Christmas spirit, you definitely will have it when you leave. Absolutely. All right. All right. So thank you so much for joining us today and for allowing us to see this, uh, this amazing display. Well, thank you, Tanya, for having us uh, on your uh, show and uh, hopefully that uh, people can come down and enjoy what we have to offer. Okay. All right. Hey, with that, uh, happy holidays and thanks for joining us for another segment of Island Images. Adios. Adios. Adios.